Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Chess Now. This is episode 64, live from New York. Today is March 25th, 2020. Do, sorry, not 2020. I, I went to the future. <laughs> I, I got to get out of the door and go back in time to 2010. Hi, caramba. Today, we have some very special guests up in the heezy. First off, I want to uh, introduce my co my, my co-conspirator, my partner in crime over here, Mr. George Grasser. How are you doing, George? <laughs> Fantastic. And our guest for today, the one, the only, Sal Piro! Ta-da! Now, Sal Piro, you might know, he is, first off, he's far and famed for uh, being an expert at the Rocky Horror Picture Show. True that? A president of the International Fan Club. And, you know, I know he was also in the movie Fame. That's right. Yep. And also, um... A writer, he's written a couple of books on the subject. Uh, That's right. Creatures of the Night, one and two. Go cop that! <laughs> you can find them on Amazon, yeah, probably. Right on, yeah. right on. And um, let's see. Oh, and also, you didn't know this, but he plays chess, right? I play chess, and I play Scrabble also. Now, you are a Scrabble expert. I'm a Scrabble expert, but uh, I'm a not a chess expert. I was just an A player. Mm. So. Well, an A player, that's, that's darn well better than me. So, um, so George and I are going to play a game, right? Go for it. Just okay, right, look. get it on. All right. As we're talking. Oh, by the way, I want to say hello Hi. to my friend Ray right. and my friend Bill. I know they're watching. Right on. Okay, I opened up with E4, D5, center counter game. Center counter. Right on. Now, now you, now you also say there's a lot of chess, uh, ch chess people play also play Scrabble. So you were saying that Asa Hoffman uh, was playing, uh, challenged you. At, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Years uh, ago, years ago, um, when I was in the chess world, um, a lot of those people played Scrabble. But uh, you know, you, it's hard to really become an expert at both. You know what I mean? Because uh -huh. it takes so much time out of your life. That's kind of like like a, a like um, police dogs could either be sniffing for bombs or sniffing for drugs. They can't do both. Mm -hmm. Black has played knight f6 here, so we can take the pawn with his knight rather than playing queen takes and having my knight come out to c3 and attacking it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play bishop to b5 check. Let's see what happens. Black has covered the d7 square with his knight on b8. We've also played the, the knight on f6 to, to, to b7, to d7, excuse me, b8 to d7. So now that this pawn is only attacked by the knight and not by the queen, I'm going to move my bishop back to c4. Mm. Although I don't know how good that move is. Right on. Now, Sal, you said there was some bad news in TV history today. Oh, sure? my goodness. What? The Hills were canceled. Ay, caramba. One more season, 12 more episodes of Heidi and Spencer and the company. I'm very upset about that. Oh, yes. It's okay. It's okay. Luckily, Chess Now is still here. Chess Now <laughs> is great. It's great. Now, now you also like uh, a, C3? A, a, pop, a pop culture expert. Well, I, I, I run trivia events out at Fire Island. Uh-huh. And... Um, I just love the whole pop culture field, mm -hmm. TV, movies, music. music. I have 500 <laughs> songs on my iPod, and they're all bizarre. Right on. Oh, castling, I see. Getting your castle on. Mm -hmm. Just normal development moves. I see, I see. I tell you, the tension here, you could... You could uh, Put a pawn in the center with pawn to d4. There's no way I can keep that d5 pawn, so I'm not trying to keep it. Knight to b6, attacks my bishop and the pawn at d5 multiple times. Now the knight on f6, the knight on b6, and the queen on d8. Do you attack. understand that? Do my friends out there understand what he's saying? Oh, yeah. You know what? There's a trivia pawn. question for people that want to call in. Oh, sorry. Thank you for reminding me. So. <laughs> um, the question is, this This question in from uh, is in from Lester. It is, what does the game of chess mean to you? So if you have an answer to that question, please call in. The number to call is on the screen right now. What's the number to call? 212-757-1483. That's 212-757-1483. Yep. Call that. Let's hear what you think. What does chess mean to you? Now, now uh, speaking of Asa Hoffman, Asa Hoffman was uh, offering to come on the show. Is this true? 
Yeah, yeah, he just wants to be paid for. Unfortunately, we, we're poor. We put the poor in Puerto Rican personally, so I can't, <laughs> I can't do that. Um, you know, but we're, we're, you know, how, you know, I guess we'll, we'll discuss that later. I'm very, very curious. Right. Um, let's see, any other people that want to come on the show? Oh, yeah. You know, people, if you want to come on to our show, um, you can either call us or you can check us out on our YouTube channel and write us letters and say that you want to be up on the show. You can come and be a, a, a guest, just like Sal. Thanks for coming on, Sal, by the way. Actually, I've known Phil, what, over 20 years, right, yep. Phil? He's known me since I was a, a ute. A, a ute. ute. Excellent. I decided to trade knights on, on D5. I don't know. It activates his knight on B6, which was poorly placed, but... Ow. I'm going to try to strike in the center, I suppose. You just took your thing. Yeah. Hey, yo, sounding yeah. reckless right there. Now, I remember back in the in the, in the the 8th Street days there, Sal, you were always uh, playing, I remember Solomon and various other people that you were playing in chess all the time. Getting your chess on. Deeply pondering. Black has retreated his knight to f6. I think white has a little bit of a space advantage. I don't know how that's going to play out materially. My bishop on b3 is blocked in by my pawn at c4. So right now I'll just castle. Mm -hmm. So I was decided to pin my knight on f3. Oh, there, there. Uh, uh, let's just saying that he said if you guys want to switch, turn the turn the board and switch. Playing, what would that do? They do that often in chess. I've never seen that done before. I'm actually hoping that we can get the game finished in one in one episode. Is that crazy talk right there? I think we can do that. Mm -hmm. we, we're moving quite quickly. Okay. We're only on the air. On to H3, attacking the bishop at G4. Mm -hmm. Now, sorry to be bothering your mind while while you're doing this. Have you seen any new movies, Sal? Um, oh, we just saw the night. Green Zone. How was that? I saw it with my friend Ray. Ray loved queen. it. Did you like it? I liked it a lot. It's a good war movie. Mm. Um, it's not as good as The Hurt Locker. Hurt mm. Locker is a great movie. Uh, I saw it right the day before the Oscars, so I was really excited about um, C6. Very, I was very excited about The Hurt Locker. Mm. Um, I'm not a huge Avatar fan. I appreciate the technology, mm. but I uh, really love those other kinds of movies. I you know what I actually just saw? I just, I just saw... Um, R the Runaways uh, biopic. Oh, I'm dying to see The Runaways. Wow, that was some crazy stuff. I, you know, uh, I went with uh, the mass meeting. You know, he was a big Runaways fan. What was your favorite movie last year? Hmm. Mine, absolutely, Inglorious Bastards. Oh, you know what? I Loved it. I had a lot of friends of mine that just thought that was one of his best films ever. Ever. Mm-hmm. ABC1. Let's see, I can't even think of what, what movie I liked last did, did, Hey, did you check out that Awesome Wonderland in 3D? No, I didn't get to see that. Mm. You know, it was interesting. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm desensitized from all this uh, stuff. It was just, you know what? I saw it late at night, so I was like, all oh, a little bleary-eyed. Couldn't appreciate it for its full worth. But I do like Johnny Depp. He's a good actor. I love Precious. Mm. That was a great movie. I loved Up in the Air. Have you seen any films, George? Not lately, no. Hello. Ah, ow, ouch! What's going on? Hello? Hello? Uh, hi. Hi. Hi, uh, who's this? Huh? Who is this? Shatima Tater. Hey, how are you feeling? Fine. Do you play chess? Yes. All right. How long have you been playing? Since first grade. Since first grade? Yes. Holy cow. Well, th uh, thank you for calling in. And you, do you play now at school? Are you in the chess team? Yes. What, what grade are you in now? Second. Second grade? Yes. Wow. What, what, uh, can people play chess in first grade? Sure. Yes. I start playing at four years old. Oh, okay. Holy cow. Okay. So do you play with your parents? Do you play chess with them? Yes. Sometimes. Okay, and uh, how do you how do you arrange? I teach them. You teach them how to play chess? Yeah. Holy cow, that's great. Let them know. 
Okay. Thank you for calling. Welcome. Right on. It's good to Hi. see. It's, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to see the Ute in there playing chess. Yes. It, it develops some uh, skills. It develops them uh, their higher thinking skills. Hello, okay. who's that? Still there. Hello? Hello, who's this? Dusty Mercator. Oh, Hello. It's the same oh, one. You're still <laughs> hanging out on the line? Okay, cool. Right on. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. We're presenting. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Right on. Now, does anybody else want to call in and say what does chess mean to them? I'm curious. Hey, Sal. What, I mean, uh, you're doing the. the, the Scrabble thing now, but uh, what does chess mean to you? I'm just throwing it out there. What does chess mean to me? Yeah. Oh, well, I've always been a very competitive person, uh -huh. and Hello. I like to play chess. Oh, wait a second. We have, we have another person calling. Who's this? Hi, this is Ricky. Hey, Ricky, what's up? Nothing much. I'm a big fan. I'm a first time caller. I haven't actually watched in a while, but you're, you're looking pretty good still, like since I last saw you. Have you like lost some weight or something? A little bit, a little bit. I'm doing a push up or two, eating some kale. Uh, keep, it, keep it up, keep it up, Phil. Uh, anyways, I was wondering um, yep. what your favorite chess piece was. Like, yeah. Um, let's see. Like, you mean like shape wise or like what it can do? No, like you're. Either one, overall. Um, I like the knight. It's cool. It could jump over pieces, and uh, I guess I like the queen because she could like totally kick the butt. How about you? Hello? No. Nope. All right. Very curious. Okay. Anybody else want to call in? What does chess mean to? Hey, George. What does chess mean to you? Um, just, I've never been asked that question before. Well, I, 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 I just now. play. I get up at like maybe noontime and I go online and I start playing chess mm -hmm. uh, until I go to bed. Really? So That's all I, you do is play yeah. chess? So I guess it's my life. Wow, chess is your life. You don't have a job? No, no, I, not anymore. Self-sufficient? Are you retired? Uh, kind of retired. I have a, a bladder disease called interstitial cystitis. Uh -huh. Holy cow. So it's... It's a little bit difficult. Nobody wants me to work for them, which is good, because mm. I don't want to work for them either. Right on, so you can play as much chess as you want. That's right. That totally rules. You know, I actually play him on itsyourturn.com, but he totally clobbers me every time. But you know what? He gives me really detailed things about why I'm getting my butt kicked, which is very important. Shift C5. One day I want to be good. Oh, I, I always love when people, when, when people, uh... oh, hold it. Are we, are we saying what, what it is? Because I want to be able to, you're going to post this up online so people know what you're doing? I'm yeah. down a pawn right now. It's down uh -huh. a pawn. I'm trying to, trying to make that, that defect work for me. Make it work. Make it work. <laughs> yeah, work that. <laughs> so, Phil, what's your favorite television show? Um, let's see. Uh, like old TV shows or current TV shows? Uh, be careful. I'm current. Talking. Current TV show, you know what I've been watching a lot lately? Um, I've been watching episodes of um, Heroes. Uh -oh. You know, I'm still sticking with that show. I think it's good, but you know what? I'm a big comic book kind of guy, so I, 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 you know, I go for it. And what other shows are you think are, are worth uh, watching on TV? Oh, you know what? Everybody always 24, come. still great. People dig 24, people dig Lost. They're always Lost oh, I'm a Losty. Yeah, I yeah. love Lost. But also Survivor, big Survivor Survivor fan. is still yes. kicking it live? Still, right now they're doing Heroes vs. Villains. It's very good. Heroes vs. Villains? But Lost is great. This Flash Forward is amazing. I hear Flash Forward is Flash Forward is amazing. I'm going to have to peep all this stuff and out. And Glenn Close's Damages, another great show. Really? I hear Damages is the bomb. Diggy. So I, I do want to peep all this out. You know what? Uh, actually, I don't have a TV, but sometimes I get to see, like, somebody will have a copy. Or people also said Fringe was good, too. I have I, I got a chance to see these shows. Wow. Everything's moving fast and furious over yep, here. Yeah, trading rooks. <coughs> Any movies that you're interested in coming out that's coming out that you're interested in seeing? Um, I want to see this Tina Fey, uh, Steve Carell movie. Oh, looks, I saw the preview for it. It, it looks funny. really funny. Uh, Tina Fey, she's a funny one. I want to see Kick Ass, but uh, I like the comic book. Queen of C8. Wow. P. 
pieces are flying. The pieces are flying. Yeah, they're flying. Checking them, that's what I'm doing. I've got to get aggressive here. So my only move is to move out of the way, King H2. Uh -huh. All right, he's snatching up that bishop. Still down a pawn. Hi, Bill. Hi, Ray. First. <laughs> Giving shout outs here. What did he do? I'm sorry. He just, oh, just oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, Yo, he's God. Checking I'm in you. trouble now. Oh, no. Can you get out of this? Mm. You have to move to that corner, right? I have no choice. That's the only move. Mm. Do that? Oh. Oh, God. I'm about, to, I'm about to die. Oh. The game is over. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, was fun anyway. this is a chess master or expert, so. Expert, uh, what's the difference between master and check expert? Rating. Well, I had 22-27 for USCF rating for 27 years, but then I started back in tournaments and it dropped down to 2058. so technically I'm so, a master. So, uh, so that's the difference between a master and a, so you were yeah. a master. I still have the master's title. They're like, so. so you're like master. Oh, once, you, once you're up there, you. I, I think you get to keep it. You get to keep it, yeah. Also, you mean like people that are like, remember when we had uh, Grandmaster Kudrin on? So, like, he's a grandmaster. Even if he stops playing forever, he'll still be a grandmaster. Yeah, I believe so. Right. He will hold his title. His title. It's like when they call you governor, even after you've finished. Oh, right. Or so, president. Like the president. The president. They don't call you Mr. Ex-President. They still refer to you as Mr. President. Well, I have lost on chess now. I'm very upset. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay because you're a big fan of Lost. Where so are all the okay. callers? I want yeah, to talk to people. Where are all these callers now that? Okay. Oh, okay. oh, hold on, but wait a second here. I want to, I, 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 we lured Sal on here with the, with the thing of more callies. Like, every single nutty call that we ever had is not calling in. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, I used to watch these public access shows all the time and call in. I love it. Call in, talk to us. Yeah, let's, let's hear. Yeah. Okay, well, um, the number here is two and two. What's that number again? You know what somebody always always says? They said, I work on the show all the time and I still don't know <laughs> the phone number. It's true. Mm-hmm. Just usual development stuff. Mm -hmm. Right on. So um, we're turning open loose the phone, so call on in. And how are we doing on time anyway? Because I'm curious. Never had a game done. Never. Uh-oh. We drag it out. Been all our time talking. Oh, incidentally, I took my IFB out because it was burning out my, my headphone. That's just to Lester. games that you play other than Scrabble and chess? Uh, I like backgammon a lot. Backgammon? I could, you know, they always had the chess with the chess checkers and backgammon. I could not get into the backgammon thing. I like that backgammon. Little, that little, that had that little, that little um, toilet roll thing where you put the dice in there. What's up yeah. with that? I also like um, uh, poker. Poker? Yeah. Texas Hold'em. Right on. Yeah, and we were talking about that other um, chess expert that became a poker player. Who was that? Oh, I used to play on a chess team with Howard Lederer. Now he's one of the top poker players in the world. Wow. And his sister, Annie Duke, is one of the top poker players in the world. And she came in second last year on Celebrity Apprentice to cool. Joan Rivers. To Joan Rivers? How'd that happen? Well. Th thinks the fix was in? Yeah. It, Annie should have won. She really should have. So. Mm. Anyway.
What's your assessment of what's going on? Well, now I'm attacking, so I think, you know, see what happens, but I think I have more pressure. Yeah, he does have some pressure on me, so. Too much pressure. Pressure's got to stop. Pressure! What's the number? 737. 737-1483. That's correct. 83. It's like watching paint dry. I know. <laughs> no, this is what they do. This is chess now. Chess now. You know what? What's up with this? I'm I'm calling. <laughs> you know what? I'm calling chess now right now. And there's nobody answering. Yo, dude. Get facts. Yo, th it's a fax. What's going on? <laughs> so, oh, oh, seven five seven. Oh, I've been saying the wrong number. Okay. One two one two seven. Five, seven, fourteen, eighty-three. Let's just make sure that this thing is going through. There we go. Calling chess now. Hello? Hello? It's like that like episode, episode uh, you know, yeah, all right, so, right, I, so I, I, I'm on the air. air. Yeah. Hey, you know, you guys can call in, <laughs> call into oh, chess now. now. It looks like the phone lines are open. So the number is 757-1483. For those of you that don't understand that, that's 1483. So call in. Phone lines are open. Just very curious, who's watching chess now? Our guest today, Sal Piro. I want to give a shout out to the people behind uh, the scenes at Chess Now right now. We have Starman Z. We have Russell Ackaway from Chess Now. Oh, sorry, from the Respect Show. And uh, who's the young lady behind the camera? Karina. Hi, Karina. How are you doing today? Represent, sister. Check. Whoa. Check. Okay. Gotta have a steady hand.
right to the finish. Uh, is it possible to get a queen? No, not for what? I'm in major trouble again. <laughs> you said oh. you don't like losing. Oh, God, I'm in major trouble. Oh, God. <laughs>